Assalamu alaikum, peace be with you all. Welcome back to I Arabic. In this lesson, you will learn eight of the huruf al jab. Up until now, we've been talking about the ism, which is one of the three types of kalima. Today, we're going to talk about one of the other types of kalima, which, if you remember, is harf. Now, harf has many different types, but the main type we're going to be talking about today is huruf al jab. Huruf al Jar. And they in English you can call them particles of al jar. What does jar mean? Jar means that they give kasra to the last letter of the word after them. And we'll understand once we get to the examples. Now the eight most used huruful jar, they are li bi ka an min fi ila and ala and so these are the eight most used huruf al jar and they, we're going to be speaking about each of them with examples so the first one is lam or li and it means for or belonging to so for example here we have al qalamu li khali now for this dal the question is what do i put here Okay, I put dhamma at the end of qalam because it's the default. But because this lam has come, this harf al jar has come here, right? Because of that, I have to add two kasras at the end of khalid. So it becomes al qalamu li khalidin. The pen is for khalid, or the pen belongs to khalid. And it's very similar to mula uk mudaf mudaf ilay. Um, this harf al jar, but there is a difference as you can see. Now the second one is B, and B means with or using. For example, we have kharajtu, which is a verb. Kharajtu, I left bil qala me. Again, kasra because of the ba. Only one kasra because qalam has alif lam. Next we have Katabtu bil qalami. I wrote. Katabtu means I wrote. I wrote bil qalam using the pen. I wrote using the pen. Bil qalami. Katabtu bil qalami. Number three, we have ka. And this kaf, it shows similarity or likeness. So here we have laysa shay'un kallahi. Laysa which means not, or it means there is not, shay'un, a thing, kallahi, like God. Again, I added the kasra because of the kaf. So again, laysa shay'un kallahi. There is not a thing, anything, kallahi. These two dhammas tell me that it can be anything. Not just one thing, but it can be anything. Laysa shay'un, there is not anything like God. Next we have an, and an means about. So here, for example, we have al-maqalatu an Muhammadin. The two kasras are there again because we have the word an before Muhammad. And al-maqala means an article, like a newspaper article. So al-maqalatu, the article, an Muhammadin is about Muhammad. It's regarding Muhammad. Okay? And then we have the harf min, which means from. So here the example is Zaydun, Zayd min Amrika. Zayd is from Amrika, or Zayd is from America. Amrika means. America. Now, what you're supposed to wonder or ask is, well, why does America have a fatha instead of two kasras like it should? Well, America is actually an exception, and we're going to talk about why it's an exception, but for now, just know that it's a foreign word, and foreign words that are transliterated directly into Arabic cannot take a kasra. So we have to leave it with an alif, and we say, Zaydun min Amrika. And the next harf is fi. 
and fi means in. Fa tu fi al Fatima is in the house. Al bayt we've done this word before. It means the house. Okay, and um, Fatima only has one dhamma because it's also an exception. And we'll talk about how it's an exception along with Amrika later on. For now, just focus on how the harf al-jar fi is used in the sentence and its positioning in the sentence. Fatima tu fil bayti. Fatima is in the house. Next we have ala. And ala means on. So here the example is jalas tu ala al kursi. I sat, Jalastu, I sat ala on al kursi, the chair. I sat on the chair. Easy enough. And finally, we have ila, which means to. And the example is al ruju'u ilallahi. The returning or the return is to Allah. Meaning once we pass away and once we die, we will return to Allah, to God. And finally, I have a, um, a little quest a challenge question for you. I'll just give you some of the words and you have to give me the meaning of it. Anta alal arb ila hain. Okay, so anta means you, al arb means the earth. And hain means a time. So what I want you to do is translate these two harfs and tell me what they mean along with the entire sentence and give me a little commentary on it at iarabic.tv and make sure you click on lesson 8 and post your answer in the comments section. Thank you all for watching. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you all.